Okay, well, just to give you an idea of what I do with my free time, I do jujitsu. I've been doing it for about six years consistently. You can see I'm the guy in the white there, the purple belt. And I am going to roll with Dylan. He's uh, He's been rolling as long as I have, about six years. And um, he's pretty athletic. We're about the same weight. And uh, I'm just trying to stay away from him at this point because I know he's athletic. He's like 30 years old in his prime and he's... He does cartwheels with one hand. I mean, one of those kind of guys. So I'm just being conservative here. I know I'm not too fast. So I don't have a problem with people taking me down like that because I like to reverse it. I almost got the reverse where I was able to kind of roll all the way back and get on top. It kind of worked out. So here I'm on the top half guard. I like to grab that leg. Sometimes I can get my leg out by grabbing their leg. And then... uh. I ended up on top here, a little bit of pressure. I try to go after that arm a little bit. And uh, right here, I kind of trying to fix my guard on my head. And then he kind of caught me by surprise and rolled me over. <clears throat> so I just attack this arm and this full guard. I like to attack the arm there and then kind of put my left leg in and kind of hook. See, I'm trying to move my left leg into the hook so I can roll him over and get on top. I got control. Yeah. Okay. So I was able to do that and then mount here. My goal here. Well, he's pretty hard to hold down. My goal here is to get my knees underneath his elbows, but he was able to just do like a reverse roll right there. Just athletic. So now at this point I'm in bottom half guard. I'm just kind of holding on. He's kind of using a lot of energy. I'm trying to not use energy, but it's almost impossible. Uh, so I'm just kind of, he's got me, uh, I'm trying to get my head out. And what I want to do is get my head out here and try to get a better uh, position, but he's holding my head down. He's doing what I did to him basically kind of like that reverse. Now he's trying to mess with my foot a little bit. So I kind of use my other foot to kick him off. And, um, he, he kind of lets my head out there. Now I'm going for the, uh, electric chair. So I like the electric chair. So I'm, my goal is to get that right shoulder, that right knee of his above my right shoulder. And it looks like I was able to do that. I, I was kind of surprised that I was able to get into that electric chair with him because I, he knows I do that. But it's probably been a while since we've rolled. So he's feeling it right here. He told me after the match that he almost tapped right here because I got him really tight. I'm stretching him out really well. But he gets that knee off of my shoulder, so I have to go ahead and use that just to get side control, which I did. And uh, he's hard to hold down. So at this point, I am just, I, I can't, I'm trying to get higher and higher on him and control him, but I can't. So now I'm decided, okay, I'm just going to go to the step over to the mount. And then he immediately rolls me back over into the guard and I'm in the closed guard again. And again, I'm attacking that. As soon as I got into that closed guard, I'm attacking that right shoulder. He got out. He didn't want to see that again. So now he's, um, yeah, now I'm just kind of in the closed guard. I like the closed guard. I feel comfortable there. I've been there a long time. It's good for slowing the game down. I like to slow the game down because I'm older. And now he's kind of pushing me away. So I want to put my feet on his hips and try to create some distance. I'm getting kind of tired here. He, he's pretty relentless. I tried to do a, a hip bump right there. I almost got it. Normally I get those hip bumps, but he was able to push me back down because he's just strong, you know, strong and, uh, you know, and he's good. He's got good technique. He's been rolling for six years and now he's just trying to put pressure. He doesn't like it. So I let him stand up and then I connect my legs, right? So I can sweep him. Normally that sweep works, but he's just, uh, his legs are strong and he was able to break that hold that I had. Now I'm just tired <clears throat> and I'm kind of fighting to just, I'm just defending pretty much at this point because I'm just trying to get my win back a little bit. I know there's certain things I can let him do and not do. So I'm just holding him off. My defense is really well. He switched his hips here. I'm trying to get the underhook, but it, it's not, my underhook with my left hand is not good enough to do anything significant. So at this point, I just got to keep my knees in. I got the uh, half guard now. He can't really do much to me here. I'm a little bit tired and I'm not doing anything offensively. I'm just kind of holding on, maybe trying to get him to use his energy. So maybe I can do something just kind of backing out there. I, I turned it around a little bit, but again, he's just too 
Yeah. I'm just tired. <clears throat> and so now I'm just defending. I'm not worried about his offense at this point. I knew he, you know, I knew he was going to kind of control me. I kind of gave that to him because I am just tired. And that's the end of the round.